So most of the patients that we have in the GEMS clinic actually know their gender, usually around the age of puberty, but a good portion of children do know as early as seemingly from the womb, and they will usually express their gender identity as very young children, some as soon as they can talk. They might say phrases such as, I'm a girl, or I'm a boy, or I'm going to be a woman, or I'm going to be a mom. Kids know very, very early. So in the GEMS clinic, we see a variety of young children all the way down to ages two and three, and usually up to the ages of nine. When they come into the clinic, they'll see one of our psychologists and we'll be talking to them about their gender, we'll be talking to their family about how to best support that child and how to make sure that that child has the space and support to explore their gender and uh, do well throughout their development. And we'll be answering any parent questions. A lot of parents do have questions and so we answer those questions. The biggest piece of advice I give parents uh, who are coming through the gender clinic at Boston Children's Hospital is to just be supportive. Um, sometimes you might not understand, sometimes you feel like you don't know the terms or you don't kind of get exactly what the child means when they say that they might be this gender, but the biggest thing you can do is just love your child and support them and just allow them to express themselves. That's the biggest protector as well against negative mental health effects such as depression, suicidality, anxiety that we worry about for our gender diverse kids and young adults. So that support from a parent is one of the best protective factors and one of the best things that they can do. If parents have a young child that is expressing some gender dysphoria or identifying as a gender other than the one they were assigned at birth, there are quite a few resources in the GEMS program at Boston Children's that parents can tap into. One of them is coming to see a psychologist such as myself to meet with them individually and talk about resources and do a gender assessment with their child and determine things that they can do to be more supportive and to make sure that their child is growing up to be a happy and healthy young adult. The second resource that I would recommend is we do have something called a Gen Z Parent Night where parents of our young kids can come and sit through a presentation and this is someone who may not have had an appointment yet at the GEMS clinic but can come and sit through a presentation about uh, young kids who are gender diverse and learn about different medical interventions we may offer in early puberty as well as just the psychosocial things to know about kids who are gender diverse.